Let's talk about this for a minute. The notion that the private is more efficient, more effective, more successful has now come almost to the point of being, quote, common sense, as though we're all supposed to believe it, something that bad religions also want. They don't want you to think about things and come to your commitments, moral and ethical, through a lot of questions and honest inquiry. They just want you to sign on the line, shut up, and believe. That's what this privatization mantra is all about. I'm a professional economist. I've been doing this all my life. I can assure you there is no consistent evidence whatsoever to privilege the private over the public. By the way, there's none to privilege it the other way either. For every example of a private company doing something successful, I can give you an example of a public enterprise doing it. For every example where a public enterprise screws up and does a bad job, I can give you an example of a private company, usually in the same industry, doing likewise. There is no basis for this common sense. It really isn't common sense. It's nonsense. That's what it is. Now let me give you some examples and to drive the point home. Here in the United States, we have committed to the public sector, to public enterprises, not to private enterprises, an enormous array of activities we all depend on. Let's begin with the one I find most interesting, because usually the same conservatives, Republican and Democrat, who celebrate the private sector, are likewise immediately the strongest supporters of the Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marines. Well, those are government enterprises. Government runs those things. Government organizes them. Government pays the individual sailor, pilot, Marine, soldier, this is a government activity. And it isn't it interesting that the people who want privatization love this public enterprise, don't they? But defense isn't the only public enterprise. I'm now going to quickly list some of the others here in the United States. The police forces in our community, the fire departments in our community, the public parks run in our community. Amtrak, our passenger rail system, the post office, public schools from kindergarten through college and university. Let me remind everyone, three quarters of the students in America who attend a college or a university attend a publicly owned and operated educational enterprise. And many roads and many harbors and many bridges, and many bus systems, and me I could continue, but you get the idea. Those are all public enterprises, and most of them have been for the history of the United States. Last point. Public versus private has nothing to do with socialism. Interestingly, the notion that the private is the good way and the public is bad, what we believe, unfortunately, so widely in the United States, hasn't worked that well, which is why we have so many public enterprises, schools, fire, defense, you name it. And in the Soviet Union and China, where for a while the mantra was the reverse, government enterprise is good and private is bad, we can see the same slow, painful recognition that they have to leave some things to the private. Which, by the way, they did in the Soviet Union and they do in China today. So in fact, the effort to say one is right, the other one is wrong, has fallen apart wherever it's been tried. Socialism is about a completely different way of organizing the workplace, whether it's a private enterprise or a public one. Socialism is about democratizing the enterprise, making it run, owned, operated by the people who work there, collectively, democratically, fairly. 
It's about something different from putting a tiny number of people in the board of directors to run a private enterprise or a tiny number of state officials to run the enterprise when the government is in charge. It's something to think about lest we be drawn in to silly policy decisions based on some notion that either the private is always better or either the, social, the uh, public enterprise is off, always better. These are silly, extreme dogmatisms. They're not reasonable and they're not rational.